What about now? So, before I get into anything, I just want to say how thankful I am for each and every one of you guys who came out to see me today. I have some of the people who have been supporting me since day one who are in the building right now. Man, it's been such a long journey, and uh, you know, coming from a place like Cleveland, Ohio, there's not a lot of people telling you. You can do whatever you want, and a lot, not a lot of people telling you that you can get basically whatever dream you want, whatever you, whatever you want to do, you really can't do it. And I'm privileged to have some people in this room with me right now who's told me and taught me that anything's possible, and as long as you put your head to it and put the right energy in the right places, anything can happen. Show of hands, how many people in here have ever had a goal or a dream in their life? If anyone's ever told you that, that dream is too unrealistic or you need a plan B, seems like okay, still all of you. Um, you right here, what's your name? Amanda, what do you want to do? Want to be a doctor? Does anyone else in here want to be a doctor? Yeah, we want to be aspiring doctors. But let me tell y'all right now that there's going to be a lot of people who tell you you can't do that. There's going to be a lot of people who tell you that. That's just too unrealistic. Or they're gonna give you a bunch of reasons why. You can either sit there and take it in and be like, oh, you know what, maybe they're right. Maybe I can't do it. Or you can say, forget all that and put the necessary hours and work into achieving your goal. And for me, coming from a place like this, I grew up in Shaker Heights, Ohio. People made fun of me my whole life. They said, you can't do this, you can't do that. You can't rap because you're white. You can't. You can't sell out House of Blues. Well, for one, those people were all wrong. So every time someone told me I couldn't do something, it just kind of made me want to do it a little bit more. And I just can't believe I'm up here on the stage right now. Just like a couple years ago, I was opening up for a guy, Ray Jr. Getting where I am today, and he's in the building right now. I don't know where you are, but I just want to say thank you, bro, for uh, everything you've done for me. And, uh, I started doing for me from the start. And uh, I used to go to I used to go to venues just like this and watch my favorite artists perform. And uh, I would take a little bit of each of their performances and try to incorporate it in my own. And I just want to pay this tribute to all the people who've inspired me in the game. Who inspired me to start? Thank you, Nas and Jay, for teaching me to write what's in my heart. Thank you, them for showing me that I can rip a beat apart. And even though I'm white, I still can reach the top of every chart. Thank you, Drake, Thank you, Drake for always staying true to all the fans. And MGK for showing me that I can make it out of the I see a lot of me and you, that's why I look up to you so much. We went to the same high school, now both of us are blowing up. This lifestyle is hard for anyone to understand. Cole taught me almost every lesson about the fame, and logic honestly just flipped my whole perspective of this game. Yeah. And he called me on the phone, I knew my dream was meant to me. He'll never understand what that truly meant to me. Took me under his wing and treated me like I belonged. I grew up idolizing him. I know the words to every song. And now I'm in the same position, showing kids that if they listen to the voice inside the head, then they can break out of the system. Live the life you always wanted, never worry about a job. Cause when your work is what you love, then you ain't ever working hard. This is choice. But you gotta make it before it's too late. Cause there's a million kids who try to get the dream while you wait. Time is of the essence, don't be watching the clock. Take this advice and one day I'll see you all at the top.